the general campaign. Former Mississippi Governor Haley Barber joins me now here at the table. Governor, thanks very much to see you. Good Thank to you, see you. Andrew. Glad to be uh, here. Former head of the uh, Governor's Association and, of course, closely involved with Crossroads. You helped support. Do. I do. Try to help them all I can. Uh, let's talk about that and what Chris Alyssa was just talking about. Foreign policy has certainly been a big advantage for this president. Why shouldn't the, uh, the bin Laden moment be his best argument? As Joe Biden said, Osama bin Laden is dead. General Motors is alive. Well, I think the, uh, the killing of, of uh, bin Laden is a very good thing for America, period. But the idea that foreign policy is, is Obama's great strength, I think, actually makes another statement. The economy is so bad, his energy policy is so failed, his health care plan is so unpopular, that of the four, foreign policy looks pretty good. Well. You're trying to make a positive into a negative, uh, sort of a reverse play there, but at the same time, uh, Mitt Romney, isn't he vulnerable on foreign policy? Look at him describing uh, Russia as one of our greatest foes, a throwback to the Cold War. I mean, we work with Russia all the time, uh, well, the, hardly the, the, an the, ally, but certainly not an adversary. Well, I don't think there are very many people who tell you that Obama's Russia reset policy has been a big success. When you look at North Korea, when you look at Iran, and you look at the Russian position on those directly, g directly in the face of the United States, when you look at the Russians who are trying to stop their being a, a, a pipeline from the Caspian Sea from Azerbaijan across Turkey to, fit, to serve Europe so that the Russians will continue to hold a monopoly. Uh, I, if I were if I were the Obama people, I would not be trying to say, look at the great successes we've had in Iran, in Syria, in North Korea, and I don't think they will. They will talk about Osama bin Laden, and Americans are glad Osama bin Laden's dead. Uh, didn't Mitt, Mitt Romney himself, though, question whether it was worth spending all the money and effort to go after one man? Well, I don't, know if, did, don't know if he did or not. Uh, well, let me get the exact actual quote for you in a minute, but uh, let's also talk about uh, this Crossroads ad, because you, in Crossroads, are attacking the likability, uh, the accessibility of Barack Obama, uh, his, you know, singing Al Green, his going on Jimmy Fallon. What's wrong with all of those, you know, obviously cultural references? that I don't think are very that. appealing to young people, to a new generation? I don't think there's a thing in the world wrong with any of them, except it brings back to Americans that here is a president that's all talk, is all cool, sounds good, tries to be popular with everybody, but it's his policies that the American people are worried about. The policies of this administration have been failed policies. And instead of trying to be cool, a celebrity on TV, Americans are looking for a president who takes policy seriously, who puts real effort behind policies that will create more jobs, that will get people who are underemployed back to making what they ought to be making in this economy, to get college students who voted overwhelmingly for him, where half of them who graduated from college last year are not unemployed today. They're, half of them are, back, are not back living with their parents. To get gasoline prices down from $4 to quit having an energy policy that leads to decisions like killing the Keystone XL pipeline, putting a moratorium on drilling in the Gulf of Mexico, and making it harder to get a permit to mine coal in West Virginia than it is to get a heart transplant. Americans want a president who's serious about the serious problems facing our country. Hasn't, can't the president argue that jobs have grown, unemployment has come down? I mean, depends, of course, where the economy is in October, in September and October. But can't he argue that there has been a sustained improvement and the argument that he's making? that he inherited this mess. Well, he's going to make the, he always is going to make the argument it's somebody else's fault. Now, that's one thing we can agree on, that it's some, he, he will say, blame somebody else. That's been the record of this administration from the beginning. But the average American understands that if you want to create more jobs in the United States, you do not threaten employers with the largest tax increase in American history so that they think they need to be sitting on their money because they may be paying 46% income tax next year, uh, that you don't uh, have a policy for energy where the president himself said, under my cap and trade plan, electricity rates will necessarily skyrocket. 
under Obamacare, which the more we learn about it, the more it now, turns Mitt out it's going to cost. Mitt Romney himself had a cap-and-trade plan back in Massachusetts. Well, I mean, this, you've got a candidate in Mitt Romney who had, at one point in his career, one or another points, supported a lot of the same things that President Obama did. Well, I think we'll hash all those out as we go forward. But the American people's look at this administration is, if it's a referendum on Obama's policies and the results of those policies, we'll have a new president. And that's why I think you'll see that the Obama campaign will be all about anything but Obama's record. You know, they say to you, Andrea, oh no, this isn't a referendum on Obama's record. It's a choice between two people, and we're going to try to smear one of them so you wouldn't want to elect him because Obama can't run on his record. Well, both campaigns are going to try to do that, are going to portray as negatively as they can the opposition and attack the records in both cases. The, but the um, big difference will be the Republican campaign will be about policy, about Obama's policies, the failures, and what we would do differently. The Obama campaign will not be about policy. The Obama campaign will be about policy when it tries to challenge Mitt Romney's policies. I mean, you know that they're going to try to do that. They're going to portray him as the etch-a-sketch candidate. Uh, let me ask you what That's Mitt Romney... That's not about policy. That is saying, well, he's a flip-flopper. You can't trust him. His character's bad. He's mean to his dog. He's a Mormon, and you know they're crazy. I mean, that's what well, his campaign... Said that. Well, they have not gone after him for being a Mormon. They have not, but certainly other people have. Elie Wiesel, who is a big Democrat, made the point that Mormons shouldn't be carrying on some of their practices. Yeah, look, this, well, if you, I, if I, you I think it'll be transparent. Governor, if you want to get into over. which surrogates or which supporters of the president or of Mitt Romney have said what, uh, that's a very dark, dark tunnel to get into because on both sides there are people on both wings who have said things. Let me ask you about vice presidents though. I know you have said don't do it until you have to do it. We're talking about do sure. no harm, decide late in August, but vet properly. Uh, I mean we can all we That's can right. both agree that there was a, a too little time spent vetting last time last time around in, in terms well, this of this is a the first really big big decision that the american so he'll be see judged, the candidate so. make is who the candidate picks who to should be, be on that list that we have not discussed uh openly discussed out there are you know marco rubio uh rob portman uh, there, are many, Bush. there are many, many people who get discussed, and to, Kelly, to, list, to list people who might be considered is to leave off a lot of people who ought to be considered because you didn't think to put them on the list. Right now, I think what the Ronnie people are doing is exactly the right thing. They're taking seriously, getting prepared, getting the information together so that they'll make a real good decision. And uh, I just wanted to read you the quote because uh, it was the Associated Press that said that Americans will not be markedly safer if bin Laden were killed and that it's not worth moving heaven and earth, spending billions of dollars just trying to catch one person. That was Mitt Romney. Well, the good thing is we didn't have to move heaven and earth. We got him right here in this world. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Good to see you.